Hey, it's MK and I am back with another Baby Got Scraps. And this one here, I am going to be doing a little bit of aeroplane. Now, I picked out a bunch of 49 in market um, embellishments, some cl uh, creative memories, close to my heart, P13. I've just got a hodgepodge of stuff that I already pre-picked out to, you know, use on these layouts. Now, I say these layouts because I'm actually doing a small micro page with these two photos here. And then of course, I'm going to finish off this pocket page, which will be the final page that I have to do to complete my first album uh, for 2019. Now, I have to tell you guys, 2019, we did a ton of stuff in. And so it is up to five albums now. That is the most I have ever done in a year is five albums. Seriously, I try to keep it to two. Um, that is what I try to do. But then we also get into doing things. And so sometimes I have to, you know, spill into a third album, but five. That's ridiculous, you guys. What happened in 2019? Maybe I'm trying to make up for 2020. I don't know. Um, I didn't even know 2020 was there until, you know, three months into it. So anyways, just showing you guys a little bit of the scraps. Most of the scraps are from the True Love Collection uh, by Close to My Heart. So I'm kind of showing you guys all the scraps that I had available, which I think I had one piece or a little bit of each piece left from that collection. And even though it is a based off of like a wedding collection, I have used it for nothing but my travel photos. Um, in 2010, I used it for my entire Washington, D.C., uh, spreads. So all of those layouts is what I used that for. And then these are the re remnants of it. I also have a 49 in market scrap, some um, Stampin' Up! scraps. And then these are scraps that I'm showing you guys. The polka dot one is the um, Kaiser Craft uh, workshop collection. And then, or no, time, it was time uh, machine collection. And then um, the other two kind of random pieces were a close to my heart kit that, uh, yeah, I forgot to put away. I'm lazy. Uh, so anyways, the first thing I'm going to do is take this ombre paper. Now I got this ombre paper. Um, it's something new that Tonic Studios is doing in their craft kit is they're putting like real sized printed paper in there. And so I thought, oh my gosh, this ombre paper would be absolutely perfect for these photos. And so I actually picked out two of them because one, I'm doing two spreads, uh, technically, and two, they're not 12 by 12. So cheater, I know, but, um, <laughs> but I'm going with it. Now these are, um, I think in, um, definition, I think they're a four. So they're eight and eight and a quarter by, um, by t almost 12, um, like right borderline 12. Um, I think it's like a, a fraction of a something off. I'm not sure. Uh, so I just had to cut a little teeny tiny strip off for it to be 11. So no, I think it's 11 and a quarter. Anyways, it, I, it was something. Yes, but it wasn't exactly, you know, like eight and a half by 12 or something like that. So I do have to take my um, 49 and market piece and overlap it a little bit. So I made sure that I didn't have any adhesive on the back because I'm not going to put my pocket pages on the back of this thing. No. And then um, I decided to stack my photos, seeing how they are almost identical, the same photo. Why did I want both of these photos on one layout? Well, because I didn't want to just scrap one photo. Ta-da! That's the only answer I have. Truly, there is nothing different about these photos except for one, I'm kind of, I got more of the wing than I did the other one. Ha! Huh, big difference. Um, so I just decided to, you know, put both of them on a layout and, and I think it looks good. I think it's aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing, I think is the word, uh, for these. Um, now I do have to tell you guys that the pocket page is, um, my trip to Florida and then these, um, this foot page happens to be, or these photos are me coming back from Vegas. So it's two different, you know, two different trips. So they're nowhere near. In fact, um, the pocket page is in the first album. This page here is in the 
third album. Yes, I'm looking at it now and making sure that it's in the third album. Uh, I have no idea. Well, I do know why um, this year happens to be in, you know, spread across five albums is because we did a ton of a ton in 2019. Um, That is when I started to go on a lot more scrapbooking retreats. So I definitely have that. Um, In fact, I went to California all the way over to Ohio. Um, I traveled a ton for work. So I've got my Colorado pictures in there, my Florida pictures. I've got all different kinds of, um, you know, things that I was doing for work. Um, And then of course, our vacations and trips and things that we took, um, as a family. And when I say vacation and trips and blah, 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 that's, it's normally like camping and outing and, and, you know, just being together out of a building is, is what I mean by a trip or a vacation with the family. That's, that's kind of how it is. Um, you know, we kind of get a little bit cabin fever, especially with a large group under one roof. Um, so, when we are outside and outdoors and there's nothing, you know, no walls or, or roofs to confine us, I think we're the happiest, to be honest. All right, before this is over, uh, I just clustered um, two really pretty clusters. I don't even know what the title of this is because I do know that um, I think I have one more small page and one full-size page of this trip, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to double check on that one. Um, so I kept it pretty simple. Uh, there's a lot of wordy bits going on, like um, the bubble that is in the main cluster says this view. Down below, it says every little thing. Um, and then the dictionary page says uh, wander. And then later, later, I'm going to be adding um, far away because it was there and it kind of sort of matched what I was going on. All right. Yeah, seriously, a hodgepodge of embellishments created this layout. Honestly, um, when I was going through, I'm not sure if I told you guys this before or not. And if I did, I'm a broken record. Um, before or when I was sorting through my scraps and making these, um, like page kits, which aren't really page kits because all it is is paper that, um, kind of coordinated with each other. And then I just guessed that's how many I was going to need for a kit or for a page and left it at that. I didn't plan embellishments. I didn't plan photos. I haven't planned anything, um, except for coordinating papers and how many I I have going with each other. That's it, you guys. Um, So anyways, when I was going through all those papers, I had actually found a baggie full of um, close to my heart embellishments from leftover workshops when I used to do workshops in my home with, you know, other people. Weird. Um, So anyways, I'm trying to slowly but surely bring some of that stuff out and maybe use it uh, before officially saying, oh, I think I'm done with this. All right. I decided to add a little bit of white splatter because all that ombre was kind of sort of bland to me. I wanted something a little bit different. And I think the white splatter just says, ha, this is it. Um, and finishes it off. All right. So now I am going to start with the pocket page, which the pocket page is pretty simplistic. You guys, it is all photos. And I decided to do this for you guys because, um, most of my pockets have a blank space or a lot of dead space that I can cut out of the photo where these photos here do not like they you have to really look for dead space to play with in these types of photos and I thought it would be good to show you guys that way you can get a a, a looky see at how I handle something that's just photos you know how do you embellish it do you just you know what do you do or you know, what are the options? For me, sometimes, depending on what it's about and how many pages I have, now this is my Florida trip, and I was in a workshop the majority of the Florida trip, so I don't have a lot of photos. Actually, I have access to a ton of photos. I just remembered that. Oh my God, no, it's already at five albums. No way am I going to add those photos, but that would be so super cool. I forgot that the um, that the coordinator of the workshop took a lot of photos and then put it out in, you know, like gave us a group number to print off the photos if we wanted them or use them for our own, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, group sessions and whatnot. So anyways, I, 
Um, so this was really, really small. I have a two page layout and then this is in the middle of the two page layout because I just love when I get to ride in a plane where the entire destination, I get to watch this tiny little picture of a plane go across the United States or go, go across the pond or something like that. I love that, you guys. That is so entertaining to me. Um, but then again, if you know me, you know I don't watch TV. So <laughs> no, um, I, I seriously, I don't watch TV. I, I watch movies. Um, and if there's not a movie I want to watch, then I'm, I'm busy doing other things. I, I just don't. And so um, this is entertaining to me. So I took a, t a ton of pictures um, of the two planes because we had to stop in um, Atlanta and, and get into another plane before we went into uh, Fort Myers. So anyways, I... <laughs> So I had to take pictures and show this off uh, because technology changes, honestly. And what if next time it's going to be a little bit more, you know, realistic looking or it's going to have different um, information or, you know, it, you never know. It, it, it just changes as, as fast as an iPhone changes, seriously. Uh, so anyways, I am picking and choosing um, a couple dead spaces um, within my photos. Now I already blabbed through the entire other side. So I apologize about that. And I'm finishing off um, with this side. Now this side will actually be, um, you know, like the first page and then you flip it and you'll see the other side. Uh, if that makes any sense. That's how it's going to go in my album. Because this one here was the plane, um, this Airbus A33, 330. Anyway, I can't read. Um, A3300. No, I still can't say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Um, the Airbus is what we took to Atlanta. And then uh, on the other side, it's the trip from Atlanta to um, to Florida. And so it was just kind of one of those things where I, I kind of work backwards. But basically, all I did was I used the exact same paper to back my photos. Now, normally, if I had a, a ton of layouts already done, or this is my um, second or third insert in between a two pager, normally what I would do is just back with pretty paper and that's it. Um, I wouldn't go through and, and make sure every pocket had an embellishment or I wouldn't go through and, um, you know, pick out all the dead spaces. It, it just becomes redundant after a while. I added that cute little camera paper clip um, because I could, and I thought it was kind of cool that it stuck up and out of the page a little bit, but it still won't stick out of my album. So just to let you guys know, in case you ask, that little paper clip won't stick out of my album. And that's it. Uh, I, that's how you simply, you know, figure out what the dead space is or what you don't mind covering up. That was, that was also a, a given right there. Um, I don't mind covering up, you know, like the Delta logo, or I don't mind covering up, um, like that top one up there. I didn't mind covering up where I had to seam the paper together because the real paper wasn't a full 12 inches. So not a big deal, right? But it, now it looks like I meant to do it. All right. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. And I will, uh, no, I won't. Please be sure to check out everyone else that is playing along with Baby Got Scraps. I apologize. I have the little giggles um, tonight. Uh, anyways, thank you so much. And I will check y'all later. Bye. <laughs>